Hey, I'm Dan. I'm a professional economist working in the international development sector. I wanted to provide some tips on how do you go about developing a career in development economics. And I wanted to summarize all five. I then will make videos on each one of those tips to go into a bit more detail. I hope that these tips allow you to reflect on how to build the strongest path into development economics. Here's the tips. Number one, be a technically trained professional. When I'm hiring, I'm looking for team members who can practically implement business solutions. I want someone who I can trust will do a job approximately close to the frontier of what area of specialization they're working in. That could be computer science, it could be a specific area of economic analysis. But what I need is to trust that that person either can source the support they need or knows where to go and find the expertise so that they can implement a full solution at the frontier. Number two, complement that technical knowledge with a deep understanding of how to bridge to the development setting that they're working in. That often means knowing a setting and its economics very deeply. But it can also mean understanding common challenges and being someone who has worked across a wide range of different settings and knows the nuances of a particular area of economic analysis or applying a solution in that specific kind of setting. Those are very powerful compliments if you can have both. You know, a part of this is having deep relationships to specialists and other disciplines so that you can bridge your economics through to other disciplines. Number three, immerse yourself in a particular development context. There's no way you can ever read about, watch enough videos, or truly understand what it's like to work or live in a developing country setting or a development setting in a richer, middle-income, wealthy nation. There are lots of environments that constrain along multiple different margins the application of economics, the solutions that economics implies. And the only way you're going to understand that is by living somewhere and preferably working somewhere. So I spent many years in Nigeria, I lived in India for a while, I've worked in many countries now, and the idea that I can just apply a solution simply doesn't add up. And so having experience of immersing myself in the breadth of everything from the food all the way through to how people think through problems is critical to being useful. Fourth, I want specialists, but I also want people who are eclectic and diverse in their explorations and exploits. And I think the best people that I've met working in the development sector are just interested in a lot of different things. They're fascinated by particular music of a particular place, but they're also interested in the history of institutions of that place. And then finally, we have to be humble that if you are coming from outside a development setting, we're only ever going to be a support to the solution of development issues and problems. In the end, it has to be those who are the key actors of a development problem that are going to solve those problems. And therefore, all we can do is be the best supporters we can. But if that's the end of our intention, then we need to start to train ourselves to be the best supporters we possibly can be from the start. And so training yourself to be a specialist who can bridge to a development setting, who can work and engage within that setting in an eclectic way and be a great supporter are all things that channel you to a successful career in development economics.